Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video and today we're looking at the Automatico from the Assault class. Now if you end up enjoying this video, I'd very much appreciate if you could remember to hit the like button just for a split second, as again it would really help the channel to grow, allow me to do this full time, produce more content for you guys so everybody wins. Now I've got that out of the way, the Automatico is a close range monster. This will be pretty obvious to most of you, but let's dive deeper into this. For this video, I used all the variants of the Automatico, the Factory, the Trench and the Storm. Essentially these variants are split into Balanced, Hip Fire Focused and Aim Down Sight or Recoil Focused. But they essentially all fill the gap of an extremely lethal close quarters slaying weapon. It has a rapid rate of fire and low bullet spread. So you can pull the trigger and the enemy will drop almost before they even know it. It's genuinely that fast. To balance this, the very high rate of fire chews through the magazine very quickly. So you can't go and spray swathes of people down in one go. But for coming up against one or two people, there really isn't a much better option for extreme close range barring perhaps a shotgun. But even in that matchup, the Automatico can come out on top a decent amount of times if you have fast reactions and a decent strafe. Now some of you may be watching this and feel that I aim down sight too much with this weapon. I had this comment a lot when I reviewed the MP18 and my feelings now are pretty similar to how they were then. Although in that video I probably didn't actually hip fire as much as I could have done and I went back and rectified that, this time I was playing this way absolutely on purpose. Yes the Automatico excels at hip firing, so I do use it, but I also use ADS when I feel it can help. The auto rotation and aim assist prevalent at Battlefield 1 means that I can snap to the target to land bullets either straight away or during a gunfight. So if I'm missing my shot while hip firing, I can regain the advantage by aiming in. Or, I can spray with hip fire to land initial damage, kind of pre-firing, and then make sure of getting the kill by aiming down sight. Give it a try if you haven't before, it's really effective in my opinion. So overall, the Automatico reminds me of the last word in Destiny, or at least how the last word used to be. If you haven't played Destiny before, you could kind of run around with the last word and be pretty sure you'd win almost any close range fight. At further range, you would have a much more difficult time of course. This very much applies to the Automatico. Something I see a fair amount are opinions that the Automatico is a scrub gun because high rate of fire don't necessarily need to aim down sight etc. But before the fact that I don't think scrub guns are actually a thing, you should just let people enjoy the guns that are in the game and let them play how they want as long as they're being you know, somewhat productive. This is definitely not an easy gun to use at a high level of ability. You have to play in a very specific way. You need to be proficient at picking your gunfights so that you don't get caught out at range and also closing gaps for when someone is too far away but you have to get to them. Good reactions can have a large impact as well using this weapon and just general recoil control while you're hip firing or indeed ADSing. So what do you think of the Automatico and which variant is your favourite? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video then feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time. Laters.